Hi, this is Glenn White with EuroSafety. In this module, we're going to be discussing the power monitoring on your AS350B3E. Your N1 sensing comes from your alternator. The alternator is the power source for your FADEC. And the FADEC can determine what N1 speed your engine is turning at by the voltage that it receives. And then the FADEC displays that N1 speed on your VEMD. Your torque sensing comes from that reference shaft and the twisting of the transmission shaft. Your TOT sensing comes from a chromel alumino temperature harness. It's two different kinds of metals bonded together and when an extreme heat goes across them, they produce a voltage. Your N2 sensing comes from three phonic sensors on that lower reduction gear. If you're gonna be utilizing the yellow area on your VEMD, on your FLI, you're limited to 40 knots. And the reason for that being is the VEMD does not know what speed you're going at. And right before you go into the yellow, you don't know if it's N1, TOT, or torque. So if it is torque, they wanna to make sure you're below 40 knots. Now, if it underlines N1 and you have the smaller, uh, older heat shield, you're limited to five minutes in the yellow. If you have the larger heat shield, you're limited to 30 minutes. Now, if it underlines torque and you're below 40 knots, there is no time limit for uh, operating in the yellow area. And if you're in the yellow area...